it's Kendra and Justin, and we are back with another episode of Little Red Memories. Previously, we are now placing the shards. We got three down, one more to go, all of which have been slightly depressing. And we got hunters for last, which may be quite disturbing. Not sure yet. I'm quite curious, actually, to see, like, why Hunter is the way he is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I keep thinking, you know, if we were able to place them before, mm -hmm. you know, everything before this is stuff we would know go would be possibly known when oh. Hunter kidnapped us. Like, would it have changed our perspective on things, you mean? Yeah. Possibly. <gasps> what if we find out what's in the sack? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Here we go. He's also a hunter. It could also just, just be... Just be, like, a deer a, or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Or a rabbit. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> this one? Yes. Uh, what's another prey-type animal? <laughs> Squirrel? Nah, it was too big to be a squirrel. Mm -hmm. Ferret? No, that's too... Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. I wish they were different colors. Fox, maybe? That's the one thing, you if know? You like foxes? Like if it was like red, pink, and like green or something. That'd be kind of fun, just saying. Alright, here we go, placing! Some sort of game bird, maybe? Place Hunter's shards on the table. Yeah. You place the shards on the table. Flashback! Uh, okay, this is either his mom or his dad. Considering how nice the music is, I'm thinking it's probably his mom. Because he doesn't like his dad. Though his dad is the one who gave him his cloak and so it's like <laughs> should we read it at the same time wait son before you go i want you to have this <laughs> there's a little bit of both <laughs> <laughs> also sounded like uh, what uh, what's his name william shatner oh did i oh <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> you know the the stereotype the pauses the, yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Captain's log. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, it is his dad. Hey, Dad, are you sure about this? This is your favorite cloak. I can't possibly take this. Are you doing a younger version? I'm trying okay. to. <laughs> I thought you didn't like his dad. It's not coming out very well. <laughs> Were we wrong all along? I can't go that high, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was just depressed about his dad? I'm guessing something happens. Okay, okay, here we go. Nonsense, you'll be traveling all by yourself. Your mother would kill me if I didn't give you something to keep you warm on your journey. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Have I ever told you the story of this cloak before, Hunter? Of course, it's been in your family for generations. What? Oh, that's impressive. I can't manage to keep a shirt longer than like a year, maybe two, without like wearing it out. I've always wondered how in the past people had like one outfit they would wear every single day and yet it wouldn't wear out. It was made of stronger material than uh, cotton. Uh oh. <laughs> I guess <laughs> that's polyester. true. That's true, yeah. Coarser, you know. Less comfortable. That's true. That's true. It's made of like wool or leather. Corduroy. Or... I don't like corduroy. <laughs> I hate it. Anyway, okay. Aha, uh -huh. you've always had a good memory, kid. This cloak is indeed the wolf's family's most prized heirloom. Huh. A representation of the protector of the household. And now I'm passing it down to you. Dad, I'm speechless. Are you sure this is okay? I mean, what about Artemis? Your sister prefers the newest trends anyways, not this old thing. 
She'll probably hound me to buy her a new cloak to make it even, but that's the risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you very much. Of course, kiddo. I seem so loving. You know, you're doing a very brave thing for me and your mom. I know that mom is really sick. You and Artemis should definitely stay here and take care of her. Besides, the next town over isn't that far away. I know, I know. Just stay safe, alright? I will, I promise. Take care, kiddo. I'll be back uh, Be back soon. Nah, I don't know why I put an I in there. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, I promise I'll be back in no time with Mom's medicine. This is like Balto. I wonder if Hunter doesn't make it back in time. But what did what that have to do with his dad? His dad gets angry. Oh. <gasps> I wish I had gotten back sooner. The journey was indeed long. I got the medicine from my mother, though. I did as I promised I would. I promised. Phew, I'm almost back in town. I really hope this helps, Mom. I hate seeing her in so much pain. Hmm? What's that smell? Is that smoke? That can't be good. What? What? Is the village raided? What? Oh, what happened? A forest fire? Wait, it's co it's coming from the town. Mom, Dad, Artemis. But it was too late. The fire was spreading. The houses everywhere were collapsing all around me. The smell oh. of burning flesh got stronger and stronger by the second. I could hear the distant screams and cries of people around me. But I kept running. I wanted to make sure my family was safe. In front of me, I saw my house reduced to nothing but burning wood. My home. My entire life. Someone called out my name, but I simply couldn't think clearly. The only things that on my mind were, how did something like this happen? Where, where did everybody go? One of my neighbors had to pull me out of the town forcefully so I would asphyx asphyxiate. <laughs> that is a hard word in this <laughs> voice. <laughs> Gathered out of the town, all the survivors were panicking or trying to figure out what to do. Everyone except me. Do you think his dad did it? I don't know. We'll have to see. I scanned the crowd for my family, but they were nowhere to be seen. I don't think... I don't like thinking about that day. It all doesn't feel real still. I lost everyone so fast. There's no warning, no way to foresee it. Just one day they were here, and the next they were gone. Aww. Ultimately, I had nowhere else to go but back to town where my Aunt Mia lived. She once told me if I was ever in an emergency, I could stay with her. Aunt Mia, are you... Is it Mia or Maya? Maya. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was saying it wrong. Hey, you're good. I just wanted to do it because then I was like, wait, I will mix up the names. <laughs> Aunt Maya, are you 
here? Apologies if I'm intruding, but something terrible happened. Oh. What happened here? Aunt Maya? Before I knew it, Aunt Maya disappeared too. Everyone in town said she'd been she's been shut in for a long, long time. Her house was a mess. In cleaning it up, I found her research papers on something called The Parallel. Reading it, I thought she was writing some sort of twisted horror novel. That or she had just gone insane. That's until I got sucked into the parallel myself. It was a horrific world. Every time I went into it, I would only be reminded of that which I had lost. Over time, I learned the rate in which you are randomly transported has a lot to do with your own mental state. The more I thought about everything that happened, the more inescapable it was. So I blocked it out. I did as much as I could to keep myself busy. I cleaned, I cooked, I went on walks. I was desperate to find any sort of distraction from the cruel reality. And that's when I met her. It's Bonnie! music's weird. I know, it's got like a travel effect. Yeah. I, okay, I'm not going to say anything. I want to say stuff, but I'm not going to say anything. At first, we merely passed by each other every morning in the forest. A few simple hellos were shared after a while. Eventually, the hellos evolved into small talk, and small talk became friendship. It sounded like dry bones almost. <laughs> huh? Oh, dry bones. Miss Bonnie, good morning. How are you? Are you on your delivery run again? Oh, Hunter, good morning. Yes, I have a few treats to drop off just south of, the, south of here. Ah, oh, how lovely. Would you mind if I joined you? Uh, huh? You want to join me? <laughs> Silence and like, <"Duh>, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, if you don't want the company right now, I quite understand. Aw, two awkward people flirting. Cute. Oh, Except for she's... the fact that I now know that he's crazy obsessive. <laughs> well, he lost everything. Right, but I'm, uh, like I said, I'll talk about it at the end of the flashback. And she's not used to attention. people liking her. Yeah. <laughs> No, I would love for you to join me. I, I just wasn't expecting it. Uh, splendid. Now then, what is it you're delivering? Bulk order of chocolate chip cookies. There's a woman who lives farther along the path, and her children can't get enough of them. <laughs> oh, oh, that reminds me. Here you go. I um, I accidentally made too many cookies, so I thought maybe. I could give a few to you. Accidentally. <laughs> oh no! I made too much batter! <laughs> Whatever shall I do? <laughs> For me? Oh, bon Miss Bonnie? I'm not used to him saying Miss. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll have to make you something just as sweet in return now. <laughs> Oh, do you bake? Why, yes indeed I do. You should come over to my house sometime. I could show you my absolute favorite dessert recipes. Uh, really? Oh, I would love that so much. Before I knew it, I was completely infatuated with this girl. I would use any excuse I could to see her. Yep. Whenever I was with Bonnie, I didn't think about all the the tragedy that happened around me. Everything, oh, uh, everything about her was just so pleasant and absolutely endearing. 
What was, he, with, what was with the O? He allowed himself to become obsessed with her so he wouldn't be thinking about something else, uh, so he wouldn't leave her. If he only thinks about her... Then he doesn't have to address his get, trauma! Well, he also <laughs> won't get pulled into the parallel. Oh! Because he, earlier he said, anytime the, you think the about... The mental state, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime you think about your tragedy, you go back. Yeah. And so this parallel is forcing him, in a way, to become... Obsessive. Yeah. This parallel is making people behave. This wrong. parallel is very much a mental health thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mental health monster. Yeah. <laughs> The worst kind. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fight them. <laughs> Not physically, anyway. <laughs> For the first time in a while, I finally felt whole again. Happy. I was determined to stay by her as much as I could. I want to make her as happy as she makes me every minute of my very existence. Whenever she left, everything felt dark again. It was an unbearable feeling, like a painful itch you just can't satisfy. See, children, we are now crossing over from cute and healthy into obsessive, toxic codependence. <laughs> There's a big difference. I like this music. It is interesting. It's very different. It sounds like a, a um, like a boss music for like. Mario or something, you know, like Bowser's Castle or something like that. Morganon. Maybe. Oh, I was actually thinking. I think it's is it Boo related? Oh yeah, Boo. Yeah, Boo. yeah. Boo also usually does organ music. King Boo. And all it, that. Is yeah. that a mansion? It's not a Luigi's castle, mansion. right? Is it yeah. just Luigi's mansion? I'm picturing the map on Mario Kart, <laughs> so I'm like driving around in my head, and I'm like, where are? What is this building? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I admit, I may have followed Bonnie without her knowledge once or twice. Perhaps a few more times than that. No. I knew if I had asked her, though, she surely wouldn't have minded me accompanying her. No. I just wanted to stay by her side. I bet you he- I feel like he kills her grandma. Ah, oh, Bonnie, hello, good evening. Uh, good evening, Hunter. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm running a bit late. Oh, well then, I hope you have a pleasant night. Perhaps I'll see you tomorrow then. Maybe. Maybe if you're interested, after your deliveries are finished, I could take you out on a picnic? Just the two of us? Wait, really? <laughs> like a date? Oh, uh, yes, unless that would make you uncomfortable, of course. <sighs> I want to find this cute, but I know what's going on, and I can't because it's not healthy. Otherwise, this would be adorable. <laughs> I feel like there has to be something more to him if he's going to kill her grandma. I don't know. I feel like something else has to happen. Like I said, we'll have to just continue. It's like either Bonnie is the one who says to do it. Uh, I Or he sees or, like the mistreatment or something. Well, I, I would assume he's going to eliminate what's getting in between him and Bonnie, which is her grandma. Well, yes, but I don't I don't think Bonnie would have a problem with it unless like unless the grandma's abuse is going to escalate to near lethal. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, no. Not at all. I would love to. That sounds so nice. Though I suppose nice. walking you out in the winter is. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can meet you at your house after I finish working. Splendid is a date. See you then, Bonnie. Bye, Hunter. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> My heart felt overjoyed at that moment. Just knowing she was at all interested in me made me need her all the more. <gasps> but alas, my celebration paused when I noticed her limping away. That's odd. She wasn't limping yesterday. Did something happen to her? Oh, is she going to ask for time after work and her grandma's going to be all like, 
Oh, so you're leaving me too? I don't know. Did someone hurt her? Oh, that's it? Oh. Hunter. Okay, 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 okay. I have comments. Should we uh, save or? Probably, right? Yeah. Save. All right. <clears throat> so now we just go out the front door? I mean, let's check around real quick. Uh, yeah, so my only way is either left or out the front door, I think. Hey. Okay. Here we go. Does anything happen if you click on the shards? Let's see. Uh, my shards are glistening. I can find them all soon. I hate to look at Wait, no. Uh, I feel like <laughs> the, that, that they didn't change that dialogue. Glistening. Glistening. Alright, uh, I that guess. That or Hunter's memories aren't complete. Should I try to go up the front door? Yeah. Here goes nothing! The doors are unlocked! Should I go through them? I know I worked so hard to get here, but I I'm kind of scared. Go. Yeah. Send it! I'm scared. Oh, well, this is different than what I was expecting. I thought I would be like, outside! And there's blood, so I'm kind of nervous. Fresh blood. Um, is this a door? No. Okay. All right. I thought the world was supposed to be better once you went out the doors! <laughs> it's the clock again. But didn't it say not to trust the clock? It did say not to trust the clock. Should I not click on the clock? I think we're gonna have to. Can though. I go back? Meow. Okay. Here goes nothing. There's a clock ticking endlessly. It's oh. not. Time always moves forward, doesn't it? Whoa, is the clock talking? Even if you're stuck in one moment, everything else can and will move forward without you. You've tried so hard to overcome everything and get past these moments. However, you're still stuck. One way or another, you will always be stuck. Do we maybe click the clock again? Is this, is the clock the parallel? Maybe. The clock stopped ticking. <gasps> oh, should I look at my dead grandmother? I suppose. Hi, Grandma. I, I I'm gonna throw up. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> oh my! What happened? Oh, hey, look! There's blood here now. Oh, there's a lot more blood than last time. Um, I can't interact with it. Um, well, we have to go to the kitchen. Or the dining room, I guess. This one? Yeah. Oh, well, you mean because this block's everywhere else? Yeah. Oh, it does. Mm. Oh, Bonnie, there you are. You got a little jam on your face. <laughs> Don't worry, this is my first rodeo with jam on the face. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is going on? He killed 
killed everybody. Why is he using their their body parts as decorations? You got the hats, you got carnation. Eyeballs! <gasps> what about Gary? Oh no. Oh jeez, this isn't exactly ideal timing now, is it? Yeah, you know, that's what's wrong right now. That is all that is wrong. All right, yep. <laughs> Apologies, my dear. I might have gotten a bit carried away. Uh, I, you... Why? Why would you do this to them? No one would ever tell me where you were. I thought they were hiding you from me. So I had to get rid of them. They all could have seriously hurt you, you know. I'm so, so glad you're safe. Oh, okay. oh my precious pony! I'm never going to let you out of my sight ever again. <laughs> no matter what, I promise I won't let anything happen to you. <clears throat> Ending two out of three. Lonesome wolf. <coughs> My voice gave out at the end there. I have a lot of thoughts. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Like, what? <laughs> okay. I feel like. Hunter's memories weren't nearly as disturbing or, like, messed up as I thought. So, I'm a little confused on that. Like, uh, maybe I was reading into the situation too much, but the way that he seemed to talk about his family when we saw the photos... Yeah. ...gave much <laughs> more of a dysfunctional impression than the memory did. Well, the fact that the memories weren't glistening at the end... Mm -hmm. feels like there's something else. Oh, like he blocks up Mao? He's not... Yeah. Maybe. That would make more sense. Coming to terms with. Yeah, because I'm like, A, his dad see Like, when... I swear there was, like, a very negative connotation yes, when you looked at the dad. The mom makes sense if she was sick. The mom was whatever. The sister was kind of, like, whatever. So... And then also, Maya... Or... Yeah, Maya. Yeah, Maya kind of gave a negative was, impression of her brother as well. Yeah, side eye. Yeah. yeah, so I'm kind of confused on that. I'm, I feel like we're supposed to assume that the fire was from his dad, right? I don't know. Cause I don't know either. Why would his dad? I don't know. Uh, you know, kind of like a Dracula yeah, yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah. like my wife's dead so i hate everyone i'm gonna burn this place to the ground but i don't get why exactly you would go on that kind of rampage you know it's not like the the village did anything yeah. to you, you like I said, I, we're, we're missing a piece yeah i feel like there's something missing there because i also don't get why hunter went so uh murderer you know and not just murderer in my opinion like torture murderer you know cutting up the bodies and stuff like that's pretty severe so i don't know i definitely feel like there's more to him than what we know or i'm just really reading into this way too much mm -hmm. i don't know it just seems like a very big jump for someone like, the obsessive stalking? Sure, that makes sense, considering he lost all his family. Abandonment issues, attachment issues, blah, blah, blah. You know, that makes more sense. I could see killing the grandma because, you know, he's obsessed with Bonnie. Bonnie's getting hurt by her grandma. It's insinuated, you know. That makes sense to me. But everything else that he's done doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, we'll have to see. I don't know. Not my specialty. Not my, uh, my area of study. Exactly. That's a little too extreme. 
crosses over into, I think, like, the more forensic psychologist, you know, with the whole deviant behavior. I don't know. Anyway, fascinating. I'm really looking forward to the other ending because I kind of hope we get more plot, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't see how this would be any different. I also think it's really interesting because the person that everyone else is talking about that escaped, do they, are they real? Yeah, I know. That's, that's what I've been thinking about too. Because also. I did the same thing and I died. You know? Or, I guess I didn't die. But I didn't escape. Because... <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, was there always a gender neutral term for the person who left? I don't know why. In my brain, I thought it was he at least. Really? Point. I always thought it was she. You're, we might have to go back and look. For some reason, I always thought it was like she left, she went out, her, blah, 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 but maybe. For some reason, in my brain, I'm thinking it was a guy. In which know. case, I was thinking, is that something to do with Hunter's dad? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting, though. And I'm kind of wondering, because it's center, it seems to center around Hunter's family, but yet the hats are here, Irene is here, and now Bonnie's here, but that makes sense if Hunter somehow accidentally dragged her into it. You know, but, like, because Carnation well, was mean, helping, uh, what's her face? What was her name? Doe. Doe, yeah. Doe with the magic, and it seems like it kind of got, like, well, At Doe hand. and Carnation allowed it to get closer to their world. Mm -hmm. And so it was able to pull people more readily, I guess. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing that. So are they just like innocent people who got pulled in? Other people who had trauma that. In around? You know, are slowly being digested. Weird. Fascinating. I love the like. I feel like background, like the symbolism, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. um, it was really interesting. I don't want to go too far into it because we're not done yet. But I'm really interested to see the other endings. This is very fascinating is all I will say. But that is the end for today's episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series because I know I am. I highly recommend you check it out for yourself. There should be a link in the description below. Honestly, click on it. Check out the other games that this game creator, game creator, game designer, uh, has made because they're all pretty freaking good. So yes check it out also let us know if you guys have any theories or comments all we ask is obviously no spoilers because we do still have one more ending but i would love to hear what you guys think about it what do you think about hunter what do you think about the parallel all that jazz so feel free to leave a comment down below as well or you can always come and talk to us live we do live stream on twitch every monday wednesday and friday not this specific game but we are still, like, always open. Our chat is always open to pretty much talking about pretty much anything, honestly. Mm -hmm. This game, that game, what we're playing on stream, whatever. Uh, don't worry, though. If live stream is not your thing, we upload all of our VODs over to our YouTube channel. So you can always check that out there. Or, like I said, just feel free and drop a comment down below. We'll see it then. I feel like I, I try to reply to pretty much every comment that's a real comment. Sometimes I think bots comment is a thing. Yeah, possibly. It'll be like, yeah. <laughs> but if you're a real person, I will reply. Um, but yeah, while you're here, you should check out the other games we have available. Um, if this kind of storybook, is it an RPG? Yeah. RPG is your vibe. We got Anne. We got Arya's story. We got Midnight Train. Am I missing one? Cross Gear. Cross Gear. I always list off three and I forget one of the one i always forget one but yeah check this out those are my recommendations but honestly all the games are pretty 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 good i believe we have a playlist for this specific game creator too so if you like their stories you can always check that out as well but we upload uh shorts on our youtube shorts our tiktok and our instagram reel if you want a sneak peek of the various games we have available before hopping into a series i think that's it yep sweet like comment subscribe do whatever you feel like doing we will appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye